Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to our next snippet. Now, our previous snippet, which was snippet 37, was this snippet here. So what I'm going to do now is continue with that sort of theme. So we're on snippet 38. And as always, I'm using a piece of Pink Frog Smooth Card, four inches by six inches, so that it fits in my journal. So first of all, we're going to grab this stencil, Botanology Stencil 182, because I love this element here. And what I want you to do is take your stencil and draw around your stencil. It doesn't matter if you draw around it this way or whether you draw around it that way. And then what I want you to do is take your washi tape. I'm using washi hash 44 around. And then what I'm going to do is just cover all the background in washi tape. So you go down and you cover the background in washi tape. Make sure that when you draw around your image, you only use a small piece of card because you don't want to waste too much of that washi. So just go around adding your washi randomly to the background so i want you to do that so it's all covered all the way down to the bottom and make it so that it's quite random so that you've got that quite random and i want you to cover all the areas so cover even any white spaces that you've got on the washi. So cover the whole area. So go round and make sure the whole piece is covered with your washi. So just, so just rip up little bits and pieces. It just makes it a little bit more random. So just cut that up, you can rip a little bit off there so that it's a little bit more random. There we go. So I want you to cover the whole piece of the background. And then what I want you to do is cut that out because the washi tape is more papery now. So it's very easy to cut out and it gives you that. So I want you to do that. And then I want you to repeat the same with stencil autumn knee falls and we're going to use this leaf here i'll just show the leaf bring this on here you're going to draw around this leaf like we did with this onto a small piece of card and then you're going to add the washi to the background and cut out just so that you've got these pieces here and then what you're going to do is you'll end up with pieces that are left like this. Can you see they're just cut out? Just can see where I've cut it out. And what you can do then is you can stick these back together again, just so that you can then reuse them. So let's just, so you can reuse these pieces. Let's just, take that off so then you end up with pieces like this that then we can reuse so you've got them for another project okay so just another little idea for you what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use my new re newly released miracle growth and you can still get this stamp set on Create and Craft. It was on Let Leone Loose yesterday. And I'm going to use this floral here. And it's stamp set 995. And you can still get that from the Let Leone Loose shows yesterday. I'm going to stamp that in my Nocturne Black Ink. And just stamp that in the Nocturne Black Ink. Nice, easy stamp to stamp with just allow that ink just to soak in to the card so that you don't rush the process there we go and then I've got that floral cut out just so that you're not waiting for me to cut that out 
And then what I'm going to do is just colour the image, which doesn't take much colouring. And I'm using my Zig Clean Brush pens and I'm going to use orange. So I'm going to use a little bit of orange and it really doesn't take much to colour the petals. But it's one of those flowers that it just, it really does look beautiful when it's coloured. When it's just got a touch of the colour. So I'm just adding a little touch of that colour. Now you can go dark to light or light to dark, whichever you prefer. So that was orange 070. And I'm then going to use a bit of red, which is wine red. And that is 024. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the darker element just with the wine red and you literally just you, you can just touch the color just with a little bit of that color then i shall go back to the orange again 070 and just blend the two colors so i'm not even reacting with water because these are reactive with water i'm just blending the color sort of color to color you can even touch the nibs together and do it that way as well there we go i'm then just going to take my gel pen my white gel pen let's just make sure that's working and i'm just going to add some sort of dots just to the center of the floral and I'm just going to add a couple of sort of white dashes to the petals. It sort of makes the petals shine by just adding that white. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is bring it in the four by six inch piece of card, which I nearly sort of scribbled all over. I'm then going to use... This, stamps, this stencil as I did in the previous one which is Blobology 183 and I used this in the previous sample and I'm just going to add it sort of on one side here and then I'm going to use my Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide Ink just add the Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide Ink and I'm just going to blend that colour just around the circle area. Now I designed this so that you could draw circles on your project or use it as a spotlight. Just add a little bit more darkness. There we go. So that works beautifully. So then we can take our florals and our leaves which just add the perfect amount of detail so what i'm going to do then is just grab my a7 stamp set which is the 30 days just grab the 30 days and i'm just going to add a little bit of text and i'm going to add it with versifying claire morning mist just a little bit of that just a little bit of the text there we go sort of not pressing too hard just so that you've got that i'm then going to add my florals and leaves so yes i want to add it like that so we'll add our first leaf and you can see where i've drawn over the washi tape so we're just going to add this here just press that down you can leave some of the leaves loose if you wish it's entirely up to you now you can't add too much dimension because it's going in your journal so just be aware of that you can't add too much sort of dimension because that's going in your 
your journal. And then I'm going to add this lovely pop of a floral here. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of dimension to the floral. Hardly anything, but just a little bit. There we go. And then just add a little bit. Not much because you don't want it to... That's it. So what I'm going to do then is just grab one of the sentiments from this stamp set and I'm going to use the Stay Curious sentiment. Let's just move that floral just off there. So just use that Stay Curious. Remember, don't stretch your sentiments you don't need to stretch those which ink pad have I got I knew I'd pick the gray one up let's we need the black ink pad again doesn't need much ink and doesn't need much pressure to stamp that sentiment we're then going to cut that out To add the stay curious and then I'm just going to add a little bit of Posca pen just around the edges don't worry if you sort of miss it initially you can just go over it again I like to just clean that mess up just so that we don't get that black ink everywhere so we can just add that Stay Curious just there and add that just across here. There we go. We can just add some white splatters. Make sure you don't get that sort of over your sentiment just cover it with a piece of card if necessary and then really to finish off if I've just got enough time I will use undergrowth stencil so I'm trying to show you here you can use your stencils in so many ways so I want it facing that way so we're going to have that little beard there And we use my Versafine Claire ink with the black Nocturne ink. Just add a little bit of black. You can clean that with your hand sanitizer. Just, I should have had this little beard cut out really, but I didn't because sometimes you just want to add a little bit extra. Now, when you're doing the snippets, the idea is you can add to them as much as you want. Let's just add a little. So you can add to the, the snippets as much as you wish. So let's just add our little curious beard there. And then we'll just bring in our journal, just so that you can see snippet 38. We'll just hold that up, just so that you can see that. And you know that the only thing missing is a little bit of shading, which you will add just underneath your sentiment. You'll just add that underneath. just to blend that out. Of course, my brush isn't clean. And just add a little bit of shading underneath. And that is your snippet finished. So snippet 38. And I hope 
you enjoyed the little techniques. Love to all. See you all soon. Bye for now.